The state of Alabama executing death row inmate Kenneth Smith overnight, marking the first time in U.S. history nitrogen gas was used to carry out capital punishment. Smith was pronounced deceased by physicians at 825 p.m. Central Standard Time. The Supreme Court had denied an appeal in a 6-3 decision with the liberal justices dissenting. Justice Sotomayor accusing Alabama of experimenting with human life, saying having failed to kill Smith on its first attempt, Alabama has selected him as its guinea pig to test a method of execution never attempted before. Smith was one of three men convicted in the murder of Elizabeth Senate in the 1980s. In 2022, Smith and the state of Alabama agreeing to a new form of execution after the the state botched a lethal injection execution. In a settlement with Smith, the state of Alabama agreeing to not pursue lethal injection again and instead attempt a new method of execution, nitrogen hypoxia. Smith only eating some of his final meal. His last words were, tonight Alabama causes humanity to take a step backwards. I'm leaving with love, peace, and light. Nitrogen hypoxia has been controversial, with advocates noting that a version of the method has been used in some assisted suicides in Europe. Lawyers for the state argue that the method is painless with unconsciousness occurring in a matter of seconds. But the United Nations Human Rights Office called on Alabama to stop the execution, noting there is no scientific evidence to prove that execution by nitrogen inhalation will not cause grave suffering. Alabama says it will continue to use the method. Nitrogen hypoxia is one of the three methods of execution, so if the inmates choose it, then that's the method we will use. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York.